I had a great time here, but uh, I'm, I'm going into my 23rd, like I'm about to be 24 soon. I'm about to graduate in May, and uh, like my plan coming to the United States was always to make sure I took care of the academic standpoint and uh, as well as the basketball standpoint. And uh, the fact that I'm about to I'm about to graduate, and the fact that I'm 23 years old, I think I totally feel ready about like going out there and start making a living for myself and my family. I think like everyone, uh, we were surprised. Uh, I think uh, I don't know that anyone fully anticipated you know Amon's decision, but still, uh, you know what he's done over the last uh, couple of years. Is, is very simply been a terrific ambassador, you know, on the court, in the classroom, around the community. Uh, just a terrific young guy that's contributed a lot to the program. And uh, even though we're uh, we're surprised by his decision, it doesn't make us any less appreciative of uh, all that he's done and and what he's been for the program. And we'll wish him great things going forward. Just I've really been thinking about it for a while. It's not it's not just it's not just a. Uh, I woke up this morning and I decided I was leaving. But. I've been thinking about I've been thinking about it for a while. I was I wasn't sure of anything, so I was I mean I thought well, I, I I told what was on my mind, and I wasn't sure like exactly where I was going, so I didn't want to alert anybody or anything. When did you first tell the team? Tell, tell the team. I talked to some of the guys at different times. I mean, I talked to Ryan because he's my roommate, and uh, James has been aware of it because I'm always with him. <laughs> but uh, uh, other than that, like like most of the people figured it out today, and some some yesterday, some in the past couple of days. He did, you know, not not so much uh, asking for input as much as just making us aware of that was his decision. Uh, and I think the first time he came to us to talk about it, he said, "I'm kind of 99 percent sure I want to do this." And so that you know, one percent didn't leave us a, a lot of negotiation, uh, you know, or or communication uh, opportunity. But but still, you know, under, understand uh, his desires and respect that and uh, wish him the best. And pretty much everybody in the team has been very supportive and very understanding and that's what matters the most to me. I don't think James wanna let me let me go but he understands too. And uh, you know like one of my like I told coach and I told these guys like like if I have any regret about leaving right now it's just the fact that I'm not gonna be able to play with the, some of these guys like James and like uh, Ryan like DJ and all this stuff next year and uh, I mean I, I'm looking forward to following them like all season. It's just like the only disappointing part about me leaving is that I'm not going to get to play for them. Is that the, by far the toughest part? Yeah, it's, it is the toughest part. I, I, I mean, there's a like, there's little things other than that, but that's that's the toughest part. That, I mean, the, the coaching staff is amazing, and when you leave like a, such a good coaching staff, such a, a good group of te teammates to, to to go in in the professional world, when in the real world, it's, it's it's always hard. But just these guys have done an amazing job. This whole year and I'm really I was really looking forward to see what they had to give next year and I'm uh, I guess I just have to watch it from far away. I mean obviously Amat would have played minutes that now are available to others and uh, when you combine uh, you, know, you know Ryan and DJ and and uh, you know Cam and and Tyler and, and and you know Keyshawn coming in and and other other guys with size in a program certainly there's minutes more minutes to go around. I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not quite sure. I haven't looked at it that much yet. And uh, I mean, you know, the draft is a long process. Like every basketball player, uh, every, every player in the NBA, were not a, a first round pick. They were not a, a lottery pick. And they, there's a lot of people that go second round to undrafted and still make a pretty good living uh, for themselves in the leagues. And I'm, I'm just looking forward to the whole process. And uh, I know there's other options in the NBA available to me. So. Yeah, it's easy for me to say. Of course, that would be my opinion. But uh, but still, he's got to want to be here, and he's got to you know he's got to approach it with enthusiasm and, and the right frame of mind. And if he wants to be somewhere else, as as indicated by Mott, we respect that and and uh, understand that. And, and I don't think it's uh, you know it's healthy for either if, if it's not something he really wants to do. I'm from France. I, yeah. I, I, I grew up watching all the Euroleague stuff and stuff and. I can tell you, it's not that bad over there. They make a lot of, uh, they make a great living for themselves, and it's a great environment to play in. And uh, I mean, the United, States, the NBA is definitely a dream. It's definitely still a goal of mine. But uh, I, as you said, the options are not bad at all. One of the things they said when we first took over the program is that we want to be, you know, significant on campus. We want to be significant in in that conference play. We want to be, you know, we just want to carry ourselves differently, and, and they've done that. And, and I think to do that in just a two-year period, uh, you know, academically on the campus, you know, they, people look at them and they appreciate and respect what they're doing. And then when they walk around campus, they, you know, students come up to them and, and they appreciate 
you know, the crowds have grown. I mean, all those things, uh, you know, reflect, you know, their, the investment they've made and the progress they've made. How much are you gonna miss the fans here? I know the, the fans. Know, pretty the fans are amazing, man. Fanfare. Just like, just you know, just especially like after the the news was out, like all the people on Twitter just. Uh, saying good luck and stuff like that. He, he meant a whole lot to me. They're, they're, they're amazing. They always supported me and the team, and uh, just, just he, he means a lot to me.